Hey guys, it's John here from the John D. Jones YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about why EpiServer is great and awesome and why you should consider using it. Now, uh, my background is I've been working for C with CMS systems for I think 13 years now. I thought it was only 11 but I did the math the other day and 13. I know I still look young but hey ho. Now in that time I've worked with loads of CMSs, I think I've said this before in other videos, but EpiServer really is one of like my favourite CMSs to work with. Now, I think the template and block sort of concept is semi-unique for EpiServer. Um, the way they, you know, allow you to, you know, create templates and then create sort of very flexible page layouts is one of its really good, like, selling points. Obviously, there's a caveat that does add a lot of complexity. Um, probably not for developers, but for a lot of, you know, non-technical people to get their head around because, I mean, most people are stupid, aren't they? So why should you use EpiServer? Well, as a dev, the EpiServer APIs are really easy to use. Um, EpiServer is pretty much, you know, it's fairly well documented compared to some of the other CMS systems. I mean, CMS vendors in general have like a hard time when it comes to documentation because as an implementer, you know, I constantly implement websites. But as a CMS vendor, you know, they, they spend more of their time focusing on, you know, the product or like their clients. So, Documentation is always a bit hard because you know they don't really they're not in the trenches on the day in day out. But you know, out of everyone I've used, I think I've used some CMS systems which have like absolutely zero documentation. Uh, I've worked at one CMS vendors where I've helped write the documentation, so that was obviously terrible. Um, so EpiServer is really good for that. The APIs that you use, they're all using sort of structure map. It's all sort of dependency injection mainly. Um, be aware if you think that if you're using EpiServer Commerce, but mainly, you know, all the Epi, or EpiServer APIs, they're all done through structure maps. So if you want to do, you know, um, proper unit testing or that sort of good stuff, that's really good. Now, another good thing about um, the EpiServer API is, you know, you've got all your caching and everything built in. Now, if you're using like a CMS like Umbraco, um, you have to have like a bit of an awareness because they have two different APIs. They basically have a, a read-only API which uses a disk cache and then you have like a database sort of version which then talks to the back-end database. Now depending on which one you use, your back-end web pages can be stupidly slow. And when you work with EpiServer, you don't really care about do I need to use a read-only or do I need to do this because their API just works out the box. Just, you know, call a page, it'll get there, it'll be cached, call it again, it's pretty quick. It's, you know, life's great, you don't really have to worry about it. Um, now, what else? Uh, I think out of, you know, all the community support, um, I love EpiServer World, and the forum there's pretty good, you get pretty good answers. There's some, you know, other vendors who don't have a good sort of support system. If you're really stuck, you know, you need to go on there and you know, ask a few questions. Another great thing about Epi, Epi Server is obviously my website. Um, there's a lot more than I ever planned on being in there now, but if you get stuck, there's pretty much most things you ever need to do there. Um, Epi Server also is, you know, they're quite good at like keeping on the ball of, you know, what people want. So, you know, back in the day it was just CMS, and then they sort of had Find, and then there was like Commerce, and you know now they're sort of like looking into the personalization things. I think they do a really good job of um, starting to extract things as well. So you have you know your core CMS product, and then if you want forms, that's an extra module that you can install. And for me, you know I love NuGet as a as a .NET developer. Um, so getting up to speed and starting getting to work with EpiServer, installing these different modules is pretty easy because in most cases, you know it's just install package after about five ten minutes you're up and running and you can give it a demo another good thing about epi server is they're really you know good with their developer licenses some systems i won't mention names but it sort of rhymes with white core um, they're terrible the only way you can get access to their platform and start sort of playing with it is a you have to pay them like a shitload of money so you can go on their training course and then B, you actually have a license so then you've got to pay even more money before you can even you know, sit down and you know, have a go at it. Um, 
for that reason, you know, EpiServe is really great and really easy for any developer out there just to, you know, go into Visual Studio now. All you need to do is add the Epi server, um, you get repository into your feed, um, install the Visual Studio extension, and boom, five minutes later you have a working website. I mean, how easy is that? What else do I love about Epi server? Our community is quite good. I live in London, there's a developer meetup which is in like two or three weeks' time. It's an open bar. I love getting pissed, so go down there, have a few drinks. That's amazing. Who wouldn't like that? Well, anyway, um, it's probably a bit off the cuff. It's probably not the best sales pitch of why you should use EpiServer. It's probably definitely not the most professional, but um, as someone who's been using Epi for like five, six years, probably longer, I can't even remember now, I would definitely recommend you check it out. And I'm assuming if you're watching this, then that's why you're here. As said, if you are sort of trying to get into Epi Server development, then my number one tip would be uh, first subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, there's a little subscribe button down there, hopefully. At the moment, there's uh, three people. You could make, make it number four, be a legend. Um, also, if you've got any questions or any sort of on a more serious note, if you need a bit of help, anything like that, feel free to sort of leave comments. I generally reply to everyone who gets in contact with me. Also, if you're trying to learn Epi, head on over to the website, it's johndjones.com. Over there, there's sort of like three, four hundred tutorials, I've lost count. And on there, there's literally anything you could ever want to do Epi server wise, with hopefully clear and concise instructions how to get there. Spelling might be a bit iffy, but hey -oh. Anyway, hope this has uh, been interested for someone. I'll see you down the pub sometime. Peace!